If you're a snowshoe hare living in the Arctic and your whole survival strategy is wrapped up in turning white for winter, what happens when the snow comes later and later every year? I'm Dan Riskin. It's an evolutionary strategy that's as old as time. You just look like the background and predators will have a hard time finding you. In the north, the landscape is mostly brown in the summer and mostly white in the winter. So a lot of animals there change colors twice every year to stay hidden. And there are lots of examples of this. Arctic foxes, weasels, ptarmigans, at least 21 different species. But all of these animals live in an environment that's changing. Winter is coming later and later each year. So researchers set out to find out what effect that's having on these color changing animals. Researchers have been capturing and releasing snowshoe hares in Kluwani National Park in the Yukon since the 1970s. They have caught more than 4,000 animals. From the 44 years of data, researchers can see very clearly that the climate is changing. Temperature has been going up at a rate of about one degree every 13 years or so. And that's been decreasing the number of days where there's snow on the ground. It also means that when there is snow, it's less deep than it used to be. And as for the hares, well, they're adapting. In the fall, they seem to be staying brown later. But while that seems like a good thing, it might not be. It takes a full month or so for the new fur to grow in when they do change color. So once the snow does arrive, many of the hares find themselves the wrong color. They're sitting ducks for predators. Hares that are brown die at a significantly higher rate over winter than the white ones do. So they're adapting, but they're not quite keeping up. Researchers point out this isn't just important for the hares themselves. Almost every kind of predator in the north feeds on hares. Foxes, wolves, wolverines, bobcats. So the way hares adapt to climate change will matter for the ecosystem as a whole. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.